What's going on, fishing freaks? Welcome to today's video. I really want to get into something that you guys have asked for, and I haven't done a whole lot of explaining. The favorite team was here this week. We were doing a bunch of product shooting, and so I thought this would be a great time to go over my signature series rod in the uh, Big Sexy series line of favorite fishing rods. First off, just let me say that this is really the reason I joined with Favorite Fishing. If you guys didn't watch that video, it was probably over a year ago now. And so much has happened since then. Um, those guys have been with me through thick and thin, through everything. I uh, joined them from a family standpoint. One of the main reasons I also joined with them is to be very interactive in uh, the company, join the company itself. I'm used to fishing a lot of uh, really nice rods. I fished many of them over the course of uh, many years fishing as a guide and fishing pro tournaments and things like that and just generally fishing a lot, you know, making these videos. So this is a culmination of that. So without further ado, let's crack this puppy open. I want to show you guys everything that I haven't shown you that that makes this rod unique and really special to me, obviously. Let me start out with the tube itself. You know, this is something unique that you really don't see with other fishing rods. And uh, favorite fishing, we're doing things a little differently. And stuff like this makes it unique. You know, this is its own shipping tube. It comes in a very uh, secure tube. You could actually use this later if you want in a travel situation. You see on there the LFG, make every cast count. This is it. Uh, you'll also see it comes in, it has its own rod sleeve. The rod's very protected. It's got foam on the ends. Let's unsheath this bad boy and get into it. So I'll tell you guys um, basically the generalities of the whole big sexy line uh, that this thing is platformed on. And through all the big sexy rods, you're going to see this wrapping right here on the base of the rod, basically up to like the second guide. And that is a, um, a hardcore um, carbon tape. It's, a, it's like a Kevlar wrapping that goes around in a cross pattern. What that does, it creates a really strong blank, but it reduces the weight of the rod. You're not having to put as much material as you traditionally would to make that rod stiffer. So you end up having a really good backbone that stops right there at the second guide and then you go into more of a traditional wrapping and that's where the more action of your rod is at. My opinion on the Big Sexy line is the aesthetics of them are just gorgeous. Uh, powerful colors that red, black, silver, uh, just real powerful colors. That's, you know, my logo on my channel, the LFG fish and all that. When the sun hits it, you got a cool like chameleon paint. It'll go from like a green to a uh, orangish red. Another thing everyone notices about the Big Sexy line is the fatter handle in the back. You know, it's like, man, what's going on with that? I've never seen anything like that. Well, that right there is basically an extension of the rod blank itself. Instead of having cork and, and split grip, uh, you've got this instead, and then it's foam on the end, so it's it's a good balance. This rod's very balanced. That's one of the key things I always look for in a very good rod. I'm not the biggest fan of split grips, uh, especially if I'm fishing something upright. Uh, really, the only time I prefer split grips is as if I'm fishing something down, like specifically, like for jerk baits or a top water, just very specifically. Everything else, I generally like a full cork all the way down. Uh, this isn't full cork all the way down, reduces the weight a little bit, but it still remains balanced. Quite honestly, I love the feel of it. And basically the last thing you're going to see on all the big sexy rods is the premium guide train. You know, this is the Fuji uh, K-Frames, it's a tangle free guide, great for braid and for a carbon. It just reduces those tangles, it's a super hard alkanite insert, great for sensitivity. I've never had one chip crack on me, which is... Uh, really good because I fish these rods really hard. The LFG Make Every Cast Count Signature Series is a rod that I wanted to build that is it's, it's very general, all purpose. This one I feel is right for a broad number of things. Not every rod can do everything, that's just impossible. You know, it's like specific tools, but I wanted to design something that's kind of a multi tool that a lot of you guys can enjoy and still get that, that sensitivity, that light feel. This is a length and an action I felt that was missing out of the series, and that's that's why I wanted to design it. Just over the course of years using um, different rods around this length and actions, this is what we came up with, and it's a 7.2 medium heavy. It's got a good backbone, though. What is this rod going to be good for? It's going to be good for spinner baits, chatter baits, 
uh, Texas rigs, you know, up to about half ounce. The rod says three quarters on it, but uh, I found just using it, you know, up to half ounce is, is really preferable. God dang, that sun's getting bright. Let's shift over here for a second. The 7.2 is a fantastic length, in my opinion, for just all around, especially if, uh, around my height. I'm about six feet tall. I can still pitch with it. So I can do little roll pitches, underhand, little little pitches and flips around docks, things like that. If I'm dedicated to docks and close up rush fishing, I'm gonna go down to a seven foot because on a shorter rod, you can get better accuracy. But with extra length, you're gonna get more distance, more leverage on the fish. So if you're turning around to go cast, you're just gonna have a better overall rod on your hand. So I can be pitching the docks with this thing and then I can turn around and I can make a long cast. If you're fishing on, on the bank, um, you always want a little extra length so you can get a longer cast, hit those targets a little bit better. Now some of the aesthetics of the rod that make it also pretty sweet, check it out guys. Make every cast count right in the handle right there. Just a, just a reminder, it's been something really inspirational for me that I've kept over the years um, and I know a lot of you guys love it so put that in there. Uh, LFG is right there on the cork handle. You got the LFG uh, fish down here, the Fish and Freak fish down here in the uh, the foam. The logo is right there, matches perfectly with the big sexy color scheme, uh, and it's beautiful. So the real seat, this added a little extra coin to the rod because it is machined aluminum, and it's super ergonomic. It's light. Your reel is not going anywhere with this thing. It's a super tight uh, reel seat. So that, that custom aluminum reel seat costs a little bit more, but I, I just love it. It's red too, it's that power color. And I'll also say that not only am I super proud of the Signature Series rod, I mean, that's been a, that's been a dream come true, just being a kid that wanted to make it in the fishing industry, and I've kind of clawed my way doing just about everything from being a fishing guide to uh, working on TV shows, being a sales rep, um, I, I've, I've done just about everything. Um, and then to work with a company like Favorite and have the Signature Series rock come out, it's really something special. I'm super proud of that, guys. But not only that, just being a part of Favorite is something I'm really proud of, too. You know, everybody there has got this, this mission on their mind. Everyone is just super focused and we're passionate about fishing. Like, everyone there is just super passionate about fishing uh, and really driving favorite fishing upward and onward so that's that's been really awesome to watch favorite grow over the past year and I can't wait to watch them grow even more it's really something cool so that is going to wrap up the uh, the review I guess of, of <laughs> my own signature series rod it's so cool but if you guys have questions uh, leave them down below if you uh, just like the rod in general make sure to hit the thumbs up you want to get your hands on one of these bad boys you know what to do Link is down in the description where you can go to favorite site where you get free shipping on the rod. It comes in the tube and all that. Or you can go to a retail store uh, like Cabela's that has these in stock. You can go in there and shake them, uh, feel them for yourself, and then um, make a decision on it. But I'm telling you, it's the right tool for a bunch of stuff. This is one of those rods where I've got like three or four of them on the deck, and then I've got my more specific rods for you know more specific things that I'm doing. Um, with longer links and, and different actions and things like that, but this one covers a broad base. Thank you very much, Fishing Freaks, for tuning into this video, and just uh, especially you long-term Fishing Freaks have been a part of this channel for a long time. Uh, this is really cool. So, love you guys. Check you on the next one.